All right, y'all. So I guess, guess what? I'm back again. <laughs> we in that thing. But um, here's another tree. Um, we saw it last year when we first moved out here. Um, we was walking around. Actually, it was almost around. It wasn't this time last year. It was, I think, around in May. We just out doing our walks around the land and just walking around the block looking for things. Um, and this tree right here, it's not flowering right now. But when we came out last year, we saw this. But see, see, see the leaves. If, three days ago, it was no leaves on this on this um on the um tree because, you know, it just was. It was like very, very, very limited amount, and it was just on this one. But um, after you know it rained, I found out that this is called the kidney wood tree, or AKA the Palo Azul, or you can call it the kidney wood. It's one or the other. Um, and for what I'm learning from, I, I, I spent about a good three, four hours reading today, but I'm going to also experiment with it. I'm going to wait probably for another month or so, three weeks to start experimenting with the tree. Um, but we've learned, I've learned a lot of good stuff from it. One of the main things that people utilize this tree for and it's called the, um, they call it the, the uh, um, if you want to um, pass a, a drug test, you know, because it actually helps filter all the um, the so-called metabolic substances in the body. I don't like to say waste, but metabolic substances that the body's not able to use at the moment. So it helps um, push those things out, out the body. You know, they call it the, the kidney wood tree. It's great for getting rid of the calcifications in the, um, in the urinary tract. So, you know, it's good for a lot of urinary things for the most part. Um, in Mexico, it's a rich history. They use it for like a lot of kidneys and bladder disorders, but they also use it a lot for, um, <clears throat> um, let's say, um, for, for, for utilizing glucose for the most part, you know, because if you're eating so much, like a lot of the white rice and, you know, a lot of food that, that contains a lot of the glucose and you have to, um, produce a lot of insulin for the most part. So it helps, it helps, it helps put that, uh, that, um, that glucose into the muscles like what it's supposed to be for the most part, you know, from, you know, because the foods we eat, we should be eating a lot of time. So yeah, so this, I mean, this, and when I say this smells good, this smell is, um, man, I don't know what to say about the smell, but I know it's powerful and it's like, it's on my hand right now. I probably won't be able to get off it smells so good. Yeah, so this is the, the kidney wood tree. Kidney wood, you look up the kidney wood or Palo Azul. You know, they go interchangeable names. I want you to do your own research on it. And you're going to be like, wow. So, so yeah, it helps. There's a good job of really cleansing out the kidneys. So the kidneys can do its job in filtering substances out the body or reabsorbing substances and things of that nature. So it's it's, it's pretty good. Um, It's really, really good. I, I, I read a lot of good stuff on this. So the flower, the, it's a white flower that comes on it. But that won't come until probably next month. And that's when the smell is really going to get there. But like you can um soak the wood, soak the bark of the tree. You soak the bark of the tree for after like two or three hours. What I read, I find out for myself because I'm gonna do it. But after you, after you soak the bark for maybe like two or three hours, the water turns blue. It literally turns blue. You know you can either make a cold soak out of it, or you can boil it. But the longer you let it soak in the, um with the cool water, that's the darker the water's gonna get. So it, it and it releases a whole bunch of chemicals after that into it. So yeah, this is called the Palo Azul. Or the kidney wood and i'm excited because this right here is something that i needed something that we need to break down a lot of the calcification that holds up in our kidneys from time to time and you know a lot of us have a lot of the calcification going on in our kidneys and the help with the you know but the thing about it it's a natural it's a natural powerful direct now i got the juniper berries over there but for my learnings this is way more powerful than the juniper berry so yeah, if you want to pass, if you want something, you know, like I know a lot of people, they might be doing some, you know, some things, you know, like they, they shouldn't be doing. If they want to pass a drug test. This is what they use right here. So I'm really happy, and I'm really happy about the. I don't know if you can see them right over here, but the, you see the grapes, Muscadine grapes right there. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff right here that, that's that's growing on this land, you know. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm not gonna um break the wood down too much off this. I'm not gonna break all that down because. That's a lot of nutrition off of that. And I wanted to keep pushing up from the ground into the leaves, into the white flower. Like, cause that's, it's, 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 it's really like a, um, it's a electrolyte like type of tree. You know, a lot of potassium, a lot of, um, um, potassium and sodium and things of that nature, your natural electrolyte. But it also has a negative, listen, a negatively charged ion. I mean, negative, uh, not negatively charged, um, alkaloid. So it's going to help. Remove stuff out of the out out the um the blood and the kidneys and it's gonna help it excrete it from the body. 
like it's supposed to be done. So I, I'm really excited about this right here, man. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna do some good. Uh, I'm gonna keep y'all updated on this one. But I'm not gonna. The reason why I'm not gonna do this one so soon is because remember about the. Uh, I told you about the, the rabbit tobacco, and I've been doing really good with the rabbit tobacco. It's really been that. Okay, so I told y'all how how it helps with the nerves and the lungs and the sinuses. But what I'm learning is it's it's doing something where it's really relaxing the muscles and my nerves because I'm just feeling too good. And then I don't even want to wake up in the morning. I feel so because my dreams are so real. It's like I go to sleep. And I wake up and I keep waking up. I'm like, I'm well rested, but the drinks got me feeling so good with the um with the rabbit tobacco. But I'm gonna stick with that for a while. But until then, but like I said, we're just gonna do the um Let me show you leaves again. Bang. Keep it simple. But it had it had to start to go to flower. See, all this wasn't here until like I say, until like a few days ago. And that's because after when it rains, when it rains, I guess you know the water. The thunderstorm rain it makes it grow really 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 fast so that's a sign that how electrical it is you know the potassium electrolyte not the gatorade stuff we talk about the real potassium and sodium that's coming from here in the perfect balance that's going to really help flesh out all the extracellular fluid that your body's not utilizing so also another thing is good for is getting rid of the um edema that i read i don't have much edema but i'm going to find out pretty soon um what this is gonna do for me, you know. If I had a demon, oh I would love to examine. I don't have I don't have a demon. So so if it's good for a demon, and if it's good for getting rid of excess of demon in the body, women, I know you always talk about this. Um the cellulite, cellulitis, oh the venous insufficiency. It's gonna help so much with that. So I kind of hope the little short video helped. Um the Palo Azul, P-A-L-O, A-Z-U-L, or kidney wood. Type in Texas kidney wood. And you will see the power of this tree and how powerful it is. So I hope this helped. Um, I'm about to get out of here and I might do another video. I might go do another video right now dealing with the um the no pose cactus. And I want you to see the um the white fungus that got was breaking down and so the new fungus will come back up. So yeah, I might do a video on that too. So y'all be easy, y'all. I'm out. Remember, this is the Palo Azul kidney wood, it's something very powerful. And it's, it helps you. It's the, one of the most powerful diuretic that I've read about. And I'm about to experience it pretty darn soon. Oh, let me show you these grapes again. You see muscadine grapes? We got all types of stuff. We think it's muscadine grapes. Right now it's in the flowering process. So look at all. We think it might be muscadine grapes. You see how the vine is just shooting up toward the sun because it's trying to get all that sun? Like, so if these are muscadine grapes, this is going to be great. Oh, and also this tree right here, the Palo Duel and the... um. The kidney or the aka kidney wood tree is also good for attracting bees. Now this is gonna be great because we need the bees. Remember all the fruit trees we got planted over there and all these grapes. So we're gonna have the bees to help do what they gotta do to this stuff right here to make everything function so much more better. So this is a good time. But anyway, I'm out, y'all. I won't take up too much of y'all day. That's that dope man, I mean, dope man, I mean, dope. That's that dope.